a lot of trial and error too. We had a bunch of leaks and um, you had to patch them up almost constantly and there's water all over the floor and stuff. It's a hydroponic garden. I've never done anything in the field of, you could say, agriculture. I've usually done robotics and programming. We had to go to the wood shop and find out how to make this frame. It really pushed me to the limits of improvising, really. We had to improvise a lot with um, the edges here and stuff like that. She had to devise a plan, and then we had to order the supplies, and then she had to put it together. We have a pump over there um, that's in this reservoir, and then it goes through this pipe and then comes into this tube, and then the water goes through each of these plants, through the tube, and then goes down on that side, then back over here, and then down over there, back over there, down over there, and then goes out. And it's like a constant flow, so that way it can keep a lot of oxygen going. So we have tomatoes, cilantro, strawberries, and uh, rhubarb. Celeste has a mind that may not always be fulfilled in a regular classroom because she has this engineering mind that she likes to build and do projects. Her um, project the first nine weeks was to build a, a robot that solved a Rubik's Cube. So she likes to figure things out. And what's really cool about her is when things don't go exactly how it works, she's like, okay, well that didn't work, let's go this way, which is, is really great for problem-based learning and she excels at that very much. I'm always working on a project uh, there's a dinosaur thing up, up by the library that I made. In the future, I want to be an aerospace engineer because then I can build, well, spaceships. All the kids in the class, they, they take their learning very seriously and they just definitely take to the next level, which is so awesome.